Uh, hi, you guys. It's Kia here, and um, today I'm starting my back to school series. Boom! I'm starting my back to school series. I just tried to film this twice, so I'm just not going to act stupid in this video. But yeah, um, I have a seven step program for you guys to go um, along with, and I have everything that I need for this seven step program. If you guys don't know what seven step program is, I will tell you guys in one second. Just give me a second um, to get everything straight. And I will tell you, in my note cards are like really nice. One, um, two, uh, three, four, five, and then six. So, sorry about this really, um, this shirt. I just threw the t-shirt. I actually like it. So. Um, today's, uh, video in my back to school series. It's a really weird video because normally everyone does a, like, um, back to school, school haul or, like, school supply haul. But, um, I'm going to purchase my school supply haul. My school supplies really, really soon. So, I'm so sorry that, that you guys didn't get to see that today, but I will be doing it. I promise. You guys will see it. It might be a little late, but it's going to happen. Sorry, I'm annoying at the last minute. Anywho, um, I have seven sheets of paper here to show you, to tell you guys what my step program is. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys the title of my video. The title of my video is going to be um, DIY, well, like a DIY period kit. Three words DIY period kit. And I have all seven of my materials. Right here. I have first, second, and going like that. This is going on right there. I don't want to give you guys too much information because you guys will know what it is. So, um, number one, you guys will need a bag. Here's my bag here. Here's my bag. This is my bag. It's just like has this pretty, like not really too much of an accent. It has a cute little accent right here with the zebra print, and then this part is just blue. So it came with a, a kit. That's the first thing you guys want, okay? Number one, I'm gonna put it back open. Number two, you guys, um, I, what, this is just stuff that I have, and you can add stuff or you can take stuff out if you think you don't need it. But most of the stuff you probably will need. Um. These are just, number two, are just cleaning cloths. So I have the Summer's Eve cleaning cloth. And before I continue, we do, I, my family only use UI Cotex sometimes, but, and always. Mostly always. We don't really use any other products except always. Well, my family. I'm not on my period, but my family uses always, always, all the time. So, yeah, that's all we use. And, and we also use Summer's Eve. We love this. Because it's like, it's for feminine. Um older or whatever. I'm um, sorry about that mouse. Um, I just have some Summer's Eve cleansing cloth and they are the sensitive wait simple sensitive cleansing cloth. Um, they're for sensitive skin and it says one on the go cloth. So like there's only one in a package. I just have four packages. Four packages. Sorry, I gotta use the third one. Okay. So I just have four packages of the same kind. There's at least, I think, three different kinds. I'm not sure, but in some of these. There's also, like, some from UI Cosex, which I never, I never, um, actually had those at my house. But yeah, there's some from UI Cosex, and there's some by, um, Place for it, and there's, like, really a lot of pads and stuff in different kinds. Next! is candies. I should have put extra candies, but I just put candies on here. You guys will need some candies or some extra ones, whichever one you want to say. So these are just mine. I just fold well. This they look really long though. I get new ones every year, so I just like put a batch of new ones in here and stuff. And I just took them. And what I did, if you guys don't really know how to fold them up right, I'll show you. That's like one. The bed right here. So, can you guys see them? Okay, so all I did was just uh, took them and fold them out like that. Now I just fold it this side in, which you want this to be straight. You're going to fold this side, then you're going to wait, fold it like really well. 
they fold that crease in there, fold that crease in there. That's where it kind of looks kind of like a, a kind of weird looking pizza. Then you're just gonna fold it kind of like downward. Well, I did it wrong. Sorry. Uh, you guys just want to take it, and then I, all I did was just take my, I folded it like completely through the middle. And I fold this side completely across uh, right here. Then I just folded this side in, and there you go. It has nice and underwear, and you can put a rubber band around it to just keep it safe in. Yeah. So I'm just gonna. Anyway, moving along to step to step number four to product number four, I guess I'm gonna say. You guys will need some liners. I should have put painting lines, but I just yeah. You guys will need some liners. So my liners are I just have three liners here. I just have the all the always um these are the always regular, I think these are painting lines. I don't really know, I forgot the brand name. These are the always dailies. These are carefree body shapes. And we also use carefree, but we don't use pads. We just use tampons. I mean, we don't use pads. We use penny lines for carefree. Yeah. So, those are four. Then five, number five. Are pads. And I just have three samples. Samples. I said samples. Okay, I have three samples of pads here. I have the Always Infinity Heavy. And these are really, these are thicker. But, like, I'll show you guys a comparison and after I, I tell you guys all of them. These are the Always Infinity Radiant. The Always Infinity Radiant. Yeah, Radiant. This one is already open because I, I didn't have a YouTube channel at the moment. I was trying to film a video anyway. But yeah, I was I didn't even have a camera. Like I was just sitting like I had like a mirror and I was like, Hey guys, it's Kia here and then I was like, I'm gonna do a period kid or whatever. So like that's so that's why I'm experienced and stuff. So yeah, like they have wings. They do have wings and these wrap around the underwear. And I don't wanna mess the line up because I will use this of course. But this hasn't been used because if it was used it wouldn't be I wouldn't be touching on because I'd be up. Alright, so if you feel that you can reuse your pads, go ahead. I made a, and also I will show you guys how to make a DIY pad, because I know how to make one, and it's not out of tissue. It's, I'm going to show you guys how to make at least three DIY pads. Anyway, the last one, this is just the Always Infinity Pad, the Infinity Regular. So we have the Always Infinity Regular, the Always Infinity Heavy, and the Always Radiant Infinity. So. This way, see that? See that one? That one's kind of, kind of thick. But let's compare it to this one. They're basically the same size. Now I'm gonna compare these two. See this? This one is way thicker. See that? I want to This one is thicker. See? See this one is like really thin. But they really like, they're really soft and stuff. Okay. So, yeah. And also, you guys, my birthday is going to be coming up. So, I will be doing a birthday, 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 birthday. Oh, sorry. But, anyway, yeah. so the next one is if you use these type of things, but you like to do these up here, boys. I'm only getting one because I don't use them just yet because I'm not on mine. This is a pre-period kit. Mine, yeah, so. It's just, just this. Uh, um, I can't open it. It's not really, it's not really a big deal. I'll open it. Okay, so this is how it looks. I think these are always a radiant tampon. And you just, the way you put it, I know how to put it in one, but I don't, I never put it in one. Like, this is really weird, but I'm going to tell you guys a really quick story. So when I was like uh, eight, I saw these and asked them, and I was like, "What the heck is this?" So I actually didn't put it in the right side. I put it up the second hole, your butt. I put it there, and I just went, "Chill." And then I pulled it out. It hurt really bad, but mom never found out. So yeah, but I didn't know how to use these, but now I do. So what you would do is you'll just, if you know where to put these, you just go. 
take it and you're going to do it at an angle. I think this is right here. You're going to do it like a, a 90 degree angle. Put it down and put it up like this. Not like straight up like that. You don't want to have it like straight up like that. And just like shoot it up. You want to have it at least like at a 90, 90 degree angle. Like that. I'm going to have it at a 90. I'm just going to push it out. Like, like I'm going to put it at a 90 degree angle. I'm going to push it out like that. And then this is all that should be hanging. So when you put it in, it's gonna look a leak like that, and then it's gonna, and then it looks a little thing, and then you take the applicator out, and that's all you should see in there. That's all you should see in there. You shouldn't see this. This should be still be in there. So I'm gonna push this back in here. Hopefully it goes back in. Please go back in. So it's glued, so well then you just shoot it back out anyway. But so I'm not gonna keep knocking that out of there. Yeah, I also have the reusable, the re, not reusable, but the resealable wood. These are not those because they don't want to be sealed. I love, I, um, my sister had the resealable ones, so I took them apart. And, um, yeah. So, yeah, these are not really sealable. But yeah, I just have these. And the last step is to pack everything, put everything into your bag. I put pack, but I, I merely meant put everything back into your bag. So, this is my bag. I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to first, yep, okay. so first I'm going to unzip the bag, that's step number one, number two, the uh, second thing that we, that I showed you guys, were some uh, cleaning gloves, so I'll put them there, third thing was some panties, then panty liners, you put them in there in any kind of order, not the order I'm doing it, but I just did it in this order, Mm -hmm. Um, I just want to put all three of my pants. I'm, I should, I think that's, uh, for a first school, you should have three regular, three regulars, or four, depending on if you're in an after school program, and then one, at least one or two heavy clothes. You should have a total of at least seven to six pants, if you're in an after school program. If not, you will need at least four during the day. Then, um... This is the tea, but it's going to sit there in a minute. And then that is so much it. That is like so it. Then, um, all you have to do for the last one, is just going to take it and just pop it in your purse. Now you're ready to go. And this thing doesn't take up any space in your bag. See, I'll show you guys how that looks. It's just in there, chilling. This is not my purse. I'm just using this purse for example. Just sit down in there. Okay. So I'm gonna take it back out, oh, and I'm gonna give you guys a really quick overview of it, and then I'm going to end the video. So she's how my looks. If I want a pad, I can grab a pad out there. And uh, trick before I go, you guys, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna like carefully uh, like exit out the video. Um, before I go, um, this pad it's already open, so like. If I want to use it, it won't make all that noise, but it's still in the wrapper, so I mean, like, it doesn't make noise. Well, I mean, it's still going to make noise when you take it out of the sticky part. Oh, there it is. I'm just going to lay that back on there. And, yeah. So, if you guys want to know anything else about your kids, just please let me know, and I will answer any questions you guys may have, or anything like that. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, bye! Please make you keep for back to school. So zip up and throw it in your backpack. Bye guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. You you guys always